Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be talking about my pregnancy today because I am halfway there, I am 20 weeks. And anytime I use the term weeks, most men are like, now, like, how far along are you? <laughs> like, four months? My due date is May 21st and I am so excited to have a spring baby because spring babies are so much fun because it's not freezing cold outside and it's not blistering hot either. So I think it is the perfect time of year to be having this little baby girl. And yes, we are having a baby girl. We did a gender reveal video um, a few weeks back and we are lucky enough to have a family member who is an ultrasound tech and so she was able to find out the gender for me and everything looked good and even though I already had that ultrasound done I'm so excited to have my 20 week ultrasound next week that is when it is scheduled and that is when they'll take like 45 minutes and they'll go in and they'll look at every little thing and we'll confirm still that it is a girl and I'm so excited to do that so I will show you that when that happens next week. So for now, I just want to talk a little bit about my pregnancy and how I've been feeling. Most of you already know that I have been feeling really well, that I don't get sick, I haven't um, gotten nauseous, I do get tired, and I think that's typical. I also have three little kids at home too that um, keep me running. And so tired, like just being a general tired is just kind of normal. We just finished up all the holidays. Today is January 3rd, and so we are recovering from New Year's Eve, which was super Super fun so I am trying to get as much sleep now as I can but a few things that I have noticed recently about my pregnancy okay so my belly is starting to grow and I feel like because this is my fourth baby my belly started to grow earlier and earlier I started noticing my belly at like nine weeks and that's when you all started noticing as well about nine weeks everyone was like you're pregnant I know you're pregnant and so my belly is definitely growing bigger and faster and earlier than it did with any of my other pregnancies. And with that comes stretch marks. With my other pregnancies, I didn't get stretch marks until like the very end and then they would fade away after I had the baby. I am 20 weeks and I'm just noticing some stretch marks. I do use a cream on my belly every night to help with those stretch marks. I'll leave the link down in the description below for that. I just got it from Amazon. And I hope that helps to prevent any more stretch marks from coming. It's not really bad right now, but there's a few there, especially right around my belly button. And my belly button is starting to become more flat, almost to the point where it's like starting to poke through. <laughs> Another symptom that I have, and my sister Bonnie, if you follow her, she had this really, really bad in her pregnancy, and I feel terrible for her when she had this, because mine is just like very small compared to her. I don't think it is pregnancy in just carpal tunnel, but my hands and fingers go numb so easy. If I am doing my hair, my makeup, my hands, like they get so numb. I really wanted to curl my hair because I don't love having it flat all the time, but it takes more time to have my hand up and curling my hair and then my hands go numb and they hurt. And so I try not to do that as much anymore. When I sleep, I'll wake up throughout the night and it doesn't matter what position I lay, I try to find a comfortable position where my hands won't fall asleep, but I've noticed that so much more lately than I ever have. And it's not a comfortable feeling to have your fingers feel like they're big sausages and they can't move. So that is a symptom that I have during this pregnancy. I also get very short of breath. I just filmed another fun giveaway, which will be next week, so stay tuned because next week I'm doing a giveaway. It's a little sneak peek for you watchers out there. Um, and I, as I was filming it, I was out of breath. I was like, okay, I gotta stop. <sighs> catch my breath. <laughs> and then if I like walk up the stairs from doing something, I need to catch my breath again. And I just find myself needing to sit down more often. If I'm trying to get ready for the day and I take a shower, I need to sit down to put like lotion on my legs and feet be instead of like standing up like I normally do just because I just get short of breath easier. Another symptom that I have is swelling in my legs and feet. I'm only halfway there and I am already swelling in my feet and oh my goodness. Okay, so when I was pregnant with Emma, my oldest, I was in nursing school so I was on my feet a lot and I got very swollen. 
And then with Cooper, my second, we were moving and it was summertime and I got swollen again. With Porter, not so much. I didn't really get swollen on my legs and feet. But the other weekend, I noticed that my I took my socks off and I could see a very distinct line where my socks were. And I had cankles and I don't normally have cankles. My legs and ankles looked like this. And but they were swollen. I could push my finger down in and just like see it stay there. And so I know I need to drink more water just because I feel like I'm also dehydrated. And I know that's very important during pregnancy is to stay hydrated and drink plenty of water. So I'm working on that as well as trying to prevent my legs and feet from getting swollen. So I try to just sit up a little bit more, keep my legs propped up a little bit um, and hopefully prevent any more swelling. So I know I said my first symptom is being tired and that that's normal. I think any mom with three little kids who's pregnant is going to be tired. Even if you're not pregnant, it's easy to be tired. However, I have noticed a boost in energy and I think the holidays helped. We had Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's and it was fun to be around so many people and my adrenaline was up and it was fun and I've had fun and I've had this boost of energy I feel like lately. I don't feel like I have to take as many naps during the day. So with being tired, I also have more energy than I have before, which is awesome because that leads me into the next thing. I am filming this video in the future baby's room. I talked about the room situation a while ago in one of my normal vlogs and this is Emma's room. She is my six-year-old daughter, but she is sleeping downstairs currently and we'll move this bed down there. She's just on a mattress right now, but we are going to be putting the crib in here and we're going to leave a lot of her stuff in here as well. So this is a very girly room. A lot of you commented and said that my six-year-old needs her own space. And I agree that everyone needs their own space to an extent. Although she's a big girl, she's still just little. Six-year-olds are still just little girls. She doesn't need her own room. She is totally fine sleeping with her brothers and she wants to and she enjoys it. She's already been down there for a while sleeping down there and she really has fun. And then when she wants to come up here and play in this room, she can. And she's got a cedar chest where she can put all her stuff and no one can get to it. And so I think she likes that setup. I'm gonna like the setup. Something else about when the baby comes, a lot of you you have said just sleep with the baby for the whole first year. Everyone does things differently and there's no right or wrong way to do things. I personally do not enjoy sleeping with the baby right next to me. I've had three kids already, we've done different things with each of them and I have found that after two weeks, after the first two weeks of birth, uh, I sleep better and the baby sleeps better because I think the baby may sleep, wake up more because they hear me wrestling around in bed and vice versa. And so it's good for the baby and me just to have our own rooms right next to each other. I can still hear everything in this room from my bedroom because it's just right across the hallway. And so I think that is best for our situation and because my room is really small, it's hard to fit. Even a bassinet would be really tight fitting in there. And so the baby will have her own room. Another major thing that has been happening lately is feeling the baby move inside my belly. So with my first pregnancies, I felt the baby move around 15 weeks and it was a definite, yep, that is the baby moving around in my belly. This time, it took a little bit longer for me to feel it and there were several times that I was like, I don't know if that's the baby moving and it probably was. But even our sister-in-law who did the ultrasound, she said that the way my placenta is sitting, or like the angle that it's at, is it kind of preventing me from feeling the baby move as much as that's normally where you would feel the baby move. And that's kind of where the placenta is. And so I don't really feel the baby move as much. But now that I'm getting further and further into my pregnancy, I do feel her move more and more. It's not to the point where Lana can feel her from the outside yet, but I definitely feel her inside and she likes to move, but it's not all the time. It's not like a ton of movement yet, but it is fun to feel her move when she does move. I'm getting to the point where I can feel like I want to nest. A lot of people get into this nesting mood and they want to get everything just just laid out perfect, organized, and ready for the baby to come. And I know I'm only halfway there and I still have 20 more weeks to go, but I am so excited to set this room up. I'm, ex I'm already thinking of colors that I want to do to decorate this room with, 
and I'm already thinking about how I want to organize the clothes. I need to go through my boys' clothes bucket and get rid of several things, and I need to go through Emma's clothes and see what is going to work and what won't work. So I'm super excited to do all that, and I will probably start next week. So until then, thank you so much for watching this 20-week update. I am so excited that I have felt well and that things have gone smooth, and I think one of my favorite things is to see Emma come up to me, touch my belly, and just say, I want my baby sister. I want my little sister. Sometimes when she gets sad or gets down or maybe one of her brothers isn't very nice to her, she comes to me and she immediately says, I want my sister now. And it's hard for her to understand that she has to wait so long. It's hard for me to have to wait. But for this little six-year-old who knows she's going to be having a little sister, she is so excited. She loves to touch my belly and she loves to just say, I want my baby sister to be here. And so I know they're going to have this special relationship and I am so excited for that. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you guys next time.